Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy TJ Kumas here. We back with another bang. Y'all already know. And today's video is gonna be something different. We got an argument. We got Theo here. We got Boo Boo, and we got my dog Kai. And we're gonna talk about is YouTube a big enough dream? And we're gonna put statistics in there, everything, all that good stuff. So let's get straight into it. All right, Kai, you can start first if you want. Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm a spectator. I'm, I'm a moderator. This is between you guys. <laughs> he said he's a I'll moderator. Jump I'll jump in at certain points, but this is mainly between you guys. <laughs> To me, it would be a good enough dream, but will I have a backup plan in case that dream fails? Yes. So should many people in the world. So say it. But that's not a, but it's not a, it's but not a hobby. And say, you know what, I'm gonna sell my candy machine. Nobody comes into my house. Nobody comes into my house. So I probably don't really need a gumball machine to sell and, and make you know, 50 cents a year on. But for many, it's lasting them for life. Do I need to talk about the poll again? Five years is not life. Go with the poll again. Go ahead. Polls talking about millennials today. Talking about, oh, instead of being an astronaut or a teacher or a firefighter or a police officer, I want to be a YouTube star. Kai, do you want to say something? Sounds right. like you want to um, say something. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, times are obviously different now. I mean, everything changes, and YouTube has opened up in recent years. So, I mean, a lot of kids, that's what they get a lot of exposure. That's what they do watch a lot. So, obviously, if you ask, I'm not sure what age demographic they ask people, um, but a lot of people do grow up watching YouTube. A lot, they are heavily influenced by it. And some people, I mean, obviously, when you are kids, they'd say a lot of stuff, but when something that you actually want to pursue, some people. I feel like they can create something that's either what they enjoy and what they think people would want to watch for either entertainment or other purposes, um, regardless. So they see YouTube as a great you know, way to do that and make a profit. So that's why a lot of people want to be YouTube stars. Um, but there's always going to be the people who, you know, maybe they say that at, at a younger age that, oh yeah, I want to be a YouTube star, but they always, most people end up doing other things, you know, like such as firefighter, police officer, teacher, etc. So I mean, I, I think at least that there's always going to be those people out there. Um, but it shows that this is a new avenue that at least a lot of people want would either want to at first or say that they want to, but people that actually go out and do it, I think the numbers are a lot smaller. I don't know why. I feel like no. I got the prompts beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> he seems better prepared. <laughs> I think you wrote a paper on this earlier. And, and the fact is, is that it, you, you're talking about platform integrity, is basically what you're saying. It's great that you've got a way for you to express yourself and for you to be able to say, oh, this is my take on something. You know, and for that aspect, that's great. I mean, there used to be a lot of. A lot of folks that either would have to come over to Hollywood, to California, or they had to be discovered by an agent, they had to go to New York or something to even be able to break in something. And, you know, a lot of the, those folks were usually pretty wealthy, and, you know, they were the only ones who kind of had the time and money to be able to do that. Now, you kind of democratize that a little bit. But... The fact of the matter is, is everyone's aspiration should be to do something that's 
doesn't require much um, expertise. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of benefit, but all I'm saying is people should aspire to greater things and not to make videos on TV all day. It's kind of like everyone saying that I want to be a movie star. Yeah, but the, the good thing about it is that you can express yourself without anybody not noticing you. Like, you, if you want to be noticed, you have to work for it. That's the thing. Everybody, like, acts like it's super easy to just get big. Man, the biggest YouTuber no, definitely did not get big in, like, a day. Well, yeah, it took him one video to blow up, but... That's the thing. It's just whether that hard work is worth doing or not. Would I rather you spend your time making videos about you showing me how to play video games and look look at my cool strategy? Or would I rather this kid learn figure out how to, you know, make a damn bridge? Right? There's value from it. There's no doubt that there's value from it. It just shouldn't be your career goal. That's all I'm trying to say. Do you know how many videos it takes to make money on YouTube or how many views? Theo, do you know? I do not. Anthony, you know that? Yes, yes, what okay. To make YouTube money, YouTube, I, YouTube's algorithm has changed now because before I was making like, I made eight bucks. And then YouTube was like, yo, this kid shouldn't be making eight bucks. So, so then that's when they stopped me. They stopped the grind. They stopped the 15 year old grind. And there is your answer to exactly what I'm trying to articulate. The fact is, is that when a single platform controls a vast majority of the market, which in this case, they own all of it. And in this case, if your aspiration is to become a YouTube star, they control your entire income because it's not like people are going to, uh, what is it, Vimeo or any other platforms to try to um, put any of this shit on. No, they only got one platform. They got YouTube. Okay, that's it. No mocks. So the fact of the matter is, is that once YouTube decides, hmm, you know what, this guy's getting paid too much money. Well, you ain't gonna get paid so much money. It's a platform that people could self-promote themselves instead of having to go through like the Hollywood system of trying to get producers and agents. Like people through YouTube can promote and get whatever message or creative, you know, thing that they want out there themselves. I, I, I don't know if YouTube... That's like me. That's like me. I'm using the YouTube to promote AMT, you know, make t-shirts for myself. You don't have to use it just to get money off. YouTubers don't mean you have to make money off of YouTube. Yes, you're... You're, 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 you're yeah. even outside of YouTube. No, because you're using your videos as an influence to make, like, whatever you're doing on the side, your income. So you hit the nail right on the head. The influencer. What do you mean? The people, all they want to do is be influencers. That's it. Well, he was saying that they're using it as a platform to skyrocket. To put out whatever content that that they want. I'm saying that YouTube is not your your dream. It's like your dream is beyond YouTube. So is YouTube a real enough dream? The answer is is no. People want to use it to be bigger than you. You want to become a star. But you're just using YouTube to become a star. That's the way I see it. But you were saying also, it's not a career. It's definitely not a career. You could use it in an aspect to make it part of to if you're basically using it as a marketing platform, which is what it sounds like some folks are doing. It's just about finding a market. If people like it and they respond to it, then yeah, you're going to make a profit and you can make you know a living off that. And you don't have to do anything else if you're successful in that platform. So, I mean, if that's your only job, I mean, that could be your career. When you make enough money, money they're not going to let you. That's the fact. Yeah, like, how long will it last? That's not going to last you much. It's not going to last? No. Theo, do you not know how long? PewDiePie? PewDiePie, (laughs) exactly. Do you not know how long the, the top... Two? Is he top two on this kid just beat him? The group. It's not even one person. The, the top YouTuber right now. It's one YouTuber. He only got topped by a group. By a group. Not even an actual person. Nobody has beaten this guy yet. And he's been at the top for how many years now? Forever. Like, for at least a good five to seven years. And literally, people are people literally have just live streams. Just showing 
how many subscribers he gains a day. And the man has been at the top for a good almost 10 years now. Yo, so you guys made it to the middle of the video. We not done just yet, but I wanted to let you guys know that I have a, now a Patreon down in the description below, and I need you guys to donate. When you donate, you'll get 25% off my merch I'm dropping in January. I'm telling you guys, this is good merch. This ain't no cheap merch. It's all being handmade by me. So it's all TJ Kumas official. I'm doing it all myself. The designs myself, the actual shirts myself, and it's not gonna be expensive. And 25% off, that means you're getting $5 off the merch. And it only costs like a, a couple bucks to join the Patreon. Just help your boy out. It's making better. It'll help me make better content for you guys. And on top of that, don't forget, leave this video with a thumbs up. Like it up for me. Subscribe. And let's keep moving with the video. The entire argument is you're talking about that, oh, I can make this a career. Well, what happens when all of a sudden, oh, I'm doing so well with this. And they continue cutting me. They continue cutting and cutting all your, your income. So you have to rely solely on sponsorships, right? That's never going to come to a point where it's that bad. Oh, really? Oh. Well, that's, that's placing a lot of faith on, on a private company. And second, so you can put it on his resume. So I think that... Exactly. You can, you can put it on your resume that you are a sponsorship for so and so. Okay, but by that time, you also that's why you don't own you don't solely just do videos based on like one thing. You do videos that can market like to other kids and all that, so that you have other sources as well. Kai, help me out here, man. Help me out here, dog. All right. Okay, so the whole the whole argument, well, part of the argument I'm I'm getting is that YouTube could start cutting pay, and then you can't really make a living off of that. Is that but, that's not, but that's not, but that's not YouTube. That's Google AdSense, as well. That is YouTube. That's no. That, that's that's the ads. That's how much. Okay, Google can't. I mean, YouTube can't do that unless people don't want to pay the amount they're paying right now for ads. That's the only way it'll stop. That's not true. Yes. Google can, Google can decide that they're not willing to forego a certain amount of revenue uh, for their marketing budget, and they can simply say, "Hey, we're taking that. We're taking that tough profit." Okay. Well, but also, let's say that there's not enough, like YouTube. You can't. You don't have enough money. You're not making it just solely from YouTube to stay afloat or whatever, make a living. But once you have that following on YouTube, that also carries over to the social media. So let's say, let's say you you don't you stop making videos for YouTube. Well, you can also transition to another platform. Let's say like Twitch. Like if you play video games and let's say you're not making the right money from YouTube, you can transition to Twitch. And those followers, a huge majority of them, will follow you because you've already built up that following. So you don't solely rely on YouTube. You can go off and make your own things. So YouTube, but YouTube is a great way to build a platform to get the followers for yourself, and you don't need to go through any other, you know, like trying to make be a movie star and stuff like that. You get the followers, and they follow you through multiple platforms for whatever you so do. So you're saying I should rely on how I eat every day on whether or not a guy is might or might not go to another platform? But that's just people. People follow you regardless. I mean. If you're putting out Once good content, you're big, they will, they they're going to follow yeah. you. But I think you're making a point that you're not you're a YouTube star. Yeah, you're, you're not a YouTube star. You're a star. You're a star. But YouTube, YouTube builds that platform for you. Like, yeah, without YouTube, you wouldn't like be there. Career. You can't say, like, I'm just a YouTube guy. It's now you're, like, you're big and you have a different career. You're, you're like, well, I'm, I'm saying this based yeah. off of the assumption that in the future, YouTube makes it so it's impossible to make a living off. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Is that in this future, you know, scenario that we're saying is it where YouTube, you know, cuts funding, whatever, and you can't make money off of it? Then yes, then you can. You have the you are, you already have the following to transition to somewhere else. So, but if you don't need to, then you don't, like if if you can still make money on YouTube, which I believe you will be able to, then you, there's no need to. I mean, you can build up other platforms also to reach different audiences. That's fine, but YouTube is. 
I would think, the best platform to build up an audience and to be able to make a profit off of this. Yeah, it's not a dream. It's not like your end goal. It's not your only career. For many people, it is. Well, they need a dream. That's the problem. That's the fact. But also, a vast majority of the quote-unquote YouTubers aren't really putting any a lot of effort behind it. They're not trying to make it as their sole source of income. They're not really putting their whole force behind it. This is more of a side thing or just a fun thing to do. It doesn't have to always be for a profit or a career, and it's not always. But for people who are trying to, it's a great way. And the dream of being, let's say, like a YouTube, it's not just to be like, oh, I'm on YouTube. It's to, it's you have content or something or something that you want to put out there. Like, even if it's just you playing different games, but you think that'll be entertaining, that's what you want to do, that's your goal. And YouTube, it's not saying it like the, the dream isn't just to be on YouTube. It's to do what you want to do and make a profit off of it. And maybe if it's to affect people, then there then it's affect people in however way it is. But YouTube is, I would think, the best platform to do it and to reach a wide audience without and for free. I mean, you don't have to get an agent or anything like that to start off of. You can just start making videos whenever. The thing is, it's not for free. How's it not for free? It's not free. It's what you're doing is you're you're spending your time and effort to make Google to get eyeballs on Google so that they can sell all these ads to someone else. You're basically doing a cost benefit analysis to say that hey, my time is better spent on Google than it is somewhere else. And my I mean any 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 dream takes takes time. So if you were telling PewDiePie that it was a waste of time to spend of no, all no, that no, time no, trying to build his career, that. then... No, 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 I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that shit. That's an exception. That's I don't want to hear the top guy. I don't okay, fine. We'll use one of the... Okay, fine, fine. We'll use a, a, a good crew then. No, I want to hear number... Uh, view, uh, on the, from the list of rankings, the guy who's viewed... Uh, 27,047. Okay. We'll go, we'll go to Phase Rug. You watch Phase Rug, Kai? Uh, no. I, I don't know a lot. You don't even know who he is? Perfect. There you go. Phase Rug. Only got big off of, let's say, uh, off of the clan, Phase. Everybody knows that clan because, why? They play Call of Duty and all they did was trick shot all day. You know you're just making my point on, right? Because all you've talked about so far is video games. Because earlier we were talking about training videos and and Okay, fine, 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 fine. Twenty six we don't even need to go twenty six thousand. We can go below that. We can go below that. I have a perfect person. A perfect person. I have a perfect person. Okay, I know Kai definitely doesn't know him, but I know him. Okay, you know when me and dad were starting up the business? And we needed to know how the heck to work the machine. Mm -hmm. Where did we learn? YouTube. You know who? Kenny and Ken. I know none of these people that watch this video are going to know. Well, there might be a couple people that will. But he is a kid that is way below 26,000, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I promise you that. He only has a couple hundred thousand subscribers. But he's literally sold all his businesses. And he's doing YouTube full time. Mind you, he had a heat press. He had a screen printing business. He had a car sh a car um, selling business. And he's taking them all out to go do YouTubing full time. Okay, Anthony. Well, I, I, I don't have a point yet so far. I do have a statistic. There's statistics involved. Can I send an article? Can I highlight it? Of course. Should I decide where it came from? Yeah, you can decide. Maybe I can there is a article on fortune.com that says 96.5% of all those trying to become YouTubers cannot cross the poverty line in the U.S. That's a big percentage. How many? 96.5% can't make enough money to cross the poverty line in the U.S. That's because most people who do YouTube. Don't that's because do it most as a people who do. Yeah, exactly. That's because most the people that are doing YouTube that want to do it. Like a hobby, they're doing. They're not putting their effort, like their full effort, into it. They're putting like two percent. The vast majority of those people aren't really trying. Like they're not investing everything in going into 
YouTube. It's just like a side thing for them. There's a very uh, small percentage of people who actually. is a substantial amount. That's because that's, that's probably dr- taking from all people on YouTube. Statistics. It's not the people who are actually. I agree. I agree. I don't believe that there's 96%. I'm pretty sure that's out of all people that use the a platform, not using it to make or promote their image. I'm pretty sure that's them just watching videos. Uh, Forbes uh, statistic more than I do uh, Ant's uh, Ant's rants. Ash, give me another one. Oh, I got a stat. I got it. So the top three most viewed channels. Um, you can only bring in advertising revenue of sixteen thousand dollars a year. That is le- that is less than half of a very bad starting salary <laughs> for somebody out of college. Sixteen thousand dollars a year is. Not enough to survive. That Even is, on ramen noodles, my friend. <laughs> that's an incredible amount of effort for ramen noodles, man. That's a lot of work. That's the top three people, the top three most viewed channels, are bringing in 16000 in revenue from advertising. That's not a lot. I would like to mention my source once again. It's Fortune.com, published in February of 2018. You know what Donnie's fighting for the matter. Okay. Actually, yeah. Kai? Huh? What? <laughs> I, I think we got blown out of proportion on this one. I think oh, TJ Kumas. I, 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 did, I didn't hear a lie. I, was, I think I TJ Kumas like, and the TJ crew have been outdone because I'm looking on influencermarketinghub.com right now. Yo, let's say I get around 50,000 views a day. Highly unlikely. Actually, when I get big enough, when you have a million subscribers, that's actually, that's capable. Okay. And you get 2 million views per month. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. My apologies. Okay. So let's say you you get 50,000 views per day. Right? Yeah. Um, We're with you. (laughs) You have an average engagement of 2 million views per month. Kai, you know how much the estimated yearly projections are? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not doing good at math. Take, take a take a guess. Just how much you think? Two, Fifty thousand views a day, two million two million views a month, which no. is highly unlikely. Let, let me let me make this more likely. If you're getting fifty thousand views a day, no, you're no, posting. No, I want you to do that number. It's it's fifty four grand a year. Uh, which is highly yeah. unlikely because if you're making fifty thousand views a day. Wait, I, I think my math is wrong. So Give me a sec. A career, and so fifty-four thousand dollars represents the average starting salary for a STEM major in the United States. Yeah. After four years of college. You know. So what you're telling me is that the peak of YouTube stardom for a majority for, for a majority of people equates to. A kid who just graduated from college after four years and got his degree in either in some type of science or engineering and got his first job. Okay, okay. But if you get 50,000 views a day, 18 million views per year because you're not always... That's 50,000 views a day, but that could be 50,000... Plus a hundred thousand because they watched two of your videos before, plus your newest one. Like this isn't just fifty thousand on one video. And, Let's say you make eighteen million what, what views I'll per year. You, what I'll tell you then is if you have twenty million people watching you, and the United States has a population of give around three hundred thousand, three hundred million people, twenty million is a substantial portion of three hundred million. You've got a problem. If you're making that low amount of money, no, YouTube. no, 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 no. Those people will then make over a hundred thirty grand a year. Yes, as I said, if you are getting that many American eyeballs, yeah, there's a handful of people that they favor on the. Then platform. you have a problem because that means you ain't getting paid a damn thing. 
But that, is that only paid just from YouTube? Is that yeah, that's only sponsors? that's only from okay. YouTube. But, but that also, but that okay. So wait, TJ and the TJ crew are starting to agree and starting to be more lenient. The dream of being a YouTuber is not the best dream. The dream it's not just should be the more of marketing yourself on YouTube. Yo, so I'm glad you guys made it to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a little argument we guys we had, but you guys see the outcome. It just makes more sense when you look at the statistics and all that. But I'm gonna still keep pumping out content. I don't care about the stats. It don't matter to me. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you know when your boy is. I'm gonna be posting every day from now on. Like I told you guys, I need to know down in the comment section below if you guys liked the Outlaws video or if you even checked it out because. I need to know whether I should be posting these, like I said, on the scheduled days, Friday, Saturday, and Monday, and Tuesdays, or whatever. So I need to know. It's up to you guys. You, you let me know. But other than that, like I said, please, again, like the video, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Straight bangers from here on out. Also, one more thing. Check out my Patreon. It's, the link is down in the description below. When you join, you get 25 25% off the merch I'm dropping and it drops in January and I'm actually working on it now and it looks really nice so you guys would want that discount that's a whole five dollars off that's basically like Black Friday for whoever joins the Patreon come on and it's only a dollar to join so you're still saving four bucks so join it down below it helps me make better content for you guys and I hope you guys had a good one and I hope you guys enjoyed see you in the next one peace